This is you before you learn this glitch. This is you after you learn this glitch. This is you before you learn this glitch. This is you after you learn this glitch. This is you before you learn this glitch. This is you after you learn this glitch. Hello everyone! In this video, I will show you a newly discovered glitch that allows you to get all the heart pieces and all the stamina wheels as soon as you start the game in the 1.0.0 version of Tears of the Kingdom. This glitch is so insane that I believe even Nintendo didn't thought people would do that. Concretely, this glitch consists of bringing the Link from the prologue to a new game, who has both arms intact. He also has 30 hearts, 3 stamina wheels, and a forever glowing unbreakable master sword, which means you will have all those things right from the beginning. Step 1. Go to Nachoya Shrine and manually save the game. Step 2. Go to title screen and start a new game. When you reach this location, you will encounter some monsters. Just go ahead and defeat them. After beating the monsters, an auto save will be generated. It's super important that you play the game until this point, because this will allow you to have a permanent glowing master sword. Now you should load the manual save in the Nachoya Shrine. Step 3. You now have an autosave that was generated in the prologue. Remember where this save is in your list of saves. In this case, our autosave is placed at the first place in this list, but this might change later on. Step 4. Now press minus to enter the map menu. Choose any memory and press A. Here you are going to perform a sequence of button presses. Press and hold the up button on your d-pad. Then press B and then immediately press A. As soon as you have pressed A, you need to press minus. Then you can release the up button. What we want to do is to watch a memory, but at the same time cancel it. If you did it right, you can hear a short sound as if a memory has been played. This is the sound you are looking for. Here you need to know that even if you successfully exited the menu and heard the memory playing sound, there is no guarantee that you have done it right. You will know it in the next step. Step 6. After you have heard the short sound of a memory having been played, in this case press plus and check again where your prologue autosave is in your list. Later you are going to load this save without seeing the screen. That's why it's crucial for you to remember its position in the list. Now enter the Choya Shrine. Here, two situations can happen. If you didn't do the previous step right, you will enter the shrine. In this case, you need to exit the shrine and then redo the previous step. Be careful though, since entering the shrine will create a new autosave, which will move your prologue autosave downwards in the list. So make sure you check where your prologue autosave is in your list every time you do this step, because later on you need to remember that position. If you fail too many times, the autosave in the prologue might be overwritten. There's absolutely no problem in that. Just go to title screen and start a new game to get it back.
three hours later. If you did it right, you will be stuck at the loading page and not able to enter the shrine. This is what we are looking for. When you encounter this situation, wait 30 seconds and then you need to load the save in the prologue. The fact that the game doesn't load doesn't mean you can't control Link. In fact, you need to load that save without seeing the screen. Let's do it. In this set screen, I will show you what you would actually be doing. Firstly, press plus button. Then press down on your d-pad. Then press A to select load. Press down on your d-pad as many times as necessary to get to the prologue save. In my case, I need to press down 4 times. Then press A again to choose the auto save in the prologue. Then press up on your d-pad to choose the load save option. Lastly, press A to load the save. If you think you have messed it up pressing buttons, don't worry. Just press B multiple times to close all the menus and start over. After you have succeeded, you will see 30 hearts and 3 wheels of stamina appearing on the right top corner of the screen. And the screen is starting to load the save. After the loading is completed, you will return to the Hyrule Castle Underground Cave. You don't have to do anything right now, just wait a little bit. Another save loading page will appear, and then Link with 30 hearts and 3 wheels of stamina has entered the Naturia Shrine. At this moment, Link has nothing on him. Let's get out of the shrine. This is a brand new save, and the first thing you are going to do is to get out of this cave. Then jump down. The classic falling down scene will be played. From this point onwards, everything is just like a brand new save. You need to follow the guides and get a purer pad, go to shrines to unlock the abilities, and continue the journey. There is something you should notice though. You now have full hearts and stamina, and also the unbreakable master sword. For the moment, this glitch only works on the 1.0 version. But if people manage to make it work on other versions, I will make videos about it as soon as possible. Some interesting things you didn't know you can do are, for example, after you finish the three shrines on the Great Sky Island, when you first try to push the door open, do not open it. Instead, press B to cancel it. Make sure you do this because otherwise, you won't be able to teleport to anywhere. Another cool thing about this glitch is that after you have left the Great Sky Island, you can get the decayed master shot in the beginning cave, which in normal situations will disappear once you leave the Great Sky Island. Alright folks, that's all there is to it. I hope you have been able to do this crazy glitch and have full hearts and stamina right from the start of the game. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, it means a lot to me. Thank you for watching, see you next time, bye!